TxDOT announced I-10 East and westbound lanes will be closed this weekend for the demolition of the Thorn Avenue Bridge in West El Paso. This means you may find yourself stuck in traffic and if you go through that area this weekend, ABC 7's Tyon Marshburn joins us live with some alternatives that may help the commute. Yes, Paul, IT closure started over an hour ago and the highway will remain closed until Monday morning at 5 a.m. And once the highway reopens, Thorn Avenue Bridge will no longer be there. The Thorn Bridge will be demolished and rebuilt to meet new state and federal standards. The construction is expected to last for several months. Because of the closure, drivers traveling on Thorn will have to use North or South Desert and exit on Mesa Street or Red Road. Jonathan Concha, PE West Area Engineer, tells us what improvements the bridge will have. So the Thorn Bridge will now be taller and wider. The height uh, will be 18 and a half feet to meet new requirements on the interstate and the width will be wider to accommodate additional lanes as well as it'll have access for pedestrians that will be barrier separated from traffic. In regards to the 56 hour closure this weekend, eastbound traffic can exit using Red Road and westbound traffic can exit using Mesa Street and take the frontage road up to Trans Mountain. I spoke to businesses in the area to see what effects they think the closure will have on their business. John Tran, manager of Lush Nail Lounge El Paso, says that they're preparing for business to be slower this weekend. I'm sure they affect it a little bit, but uh, I think that, you know, if uh, people locally, people should know their way around. They should, you know, take Donovan or uh, Wrestler if they know their way around, but I'm, I think it, it might affect us a little bit. Tran says he uses I-10 to get to work and will have to find an alternative route this weekend. Hopefully uh, they will they finish it up, you know, soon and uh, hopefully it'll, you know, it'll be a better commute for everyone in the community. Text I also wants to remind everyone once the bridge is demolished, there will be no pedestrian access. Reporting live, Tyon Marshburn, ABC7. All right, Tyon, good morning there. Thank you.